When I was perhaps 11 years old, I went to church camp. And there was a custom in that church camp for the boys to fight with each other, to find out who was the strongest and who was the least strong and so on, you know, to, to place everyone in the pecking order. Um, however, it was my understanding from my reading of the scripture that we weren't supposed to do that. So when, the, when several boys came over, noticing I was new, and said, okay, you know, and one of, them, one of them stepped forward to fight me, I said, I'm not going to fight you. Well, you've got to. Everybody does that. Well, not me. I think Jesus said no, so I'm not going to fight you. Oh, go ahead. I'll bet you can. Boom, boom. No, I won't. I refuse to fight you. Oh, boom, 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 boom. No, I won't do it. I'm sorry, but... I'm just not going to fight you. <laughs> and so he couldn't get me to fight him. I was non-cooperating with his, with his game. Non-cooperating, right? So, uh, they, so they shrugged their shoulders, thought, well, he's hopeless, and they left. And, uh, but they passed the word out to the other boys in the camp. And therefore, every once in a while, I'd run into somebody who would say, okay, put up your dukes. And I would say, uh, well, haven't you heard? And some other boy would say, yeah, he doesn't do it. Never mind. I was not that interested in nonviolence as a philosophy. I was much more interested in it as um, a, a, a breakthrough that enables us to engage in conflict in ways that are worthy of human beings. Yeah. A, a breakthrough, you know, a practical technique. So in that way, uh, Gene Sharp really was very influential. Well, any time you pick up a means of struggle, whether it's violence or nonviolence, there are no guarantees you will win. <laughs> no guarantees. And so the, the, first, uh, the first campaign that uh, Dr. King led, the Montgomery campaign and the bus boycott, won. However, the previous bus boycott that had happened in New Orleans lost. That's life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. That same dynamic happens if you use violence. In fact, it could be argued that um, in violence, in violent war, both sides lose because even the one who claims victory has lost enormously in terms of money and lives and so on and so on, right? Very interesting encounters. For example, there was, I remember a Romanian student, Swarthmore has a lot of foreign students. A Romanian student walked in first day, said, professor, I am very interested in this subject. However, I must say I'm sad as a Romanian student uh, that my people, the Romanian people do not do nonviolence. And I said, well, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> and of course, once she really understood, she was digging in her own history and she, oh, wow, how about that? Oh, that, I never noticed that before, and so on and so on. And yeah. so the discovery level for these students, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was, was, was just very, very exciting intellectual work. Yeah. Uh, and of course, very positive for, uh, for the field activists sometimes get tired and stop doing action because they say, oh, it's taking too long. It's too big. We can't do it. You know, like that. And I'm 84 years old and I was arrested this year. <laughs> I, yes, yes. I, for yes, for yes. what? For what were you arrested? Chase, Chase, Chase Bank, the, the huge JP Morgan Chase Bank is one of the major fossil fuel investors. They're, it's destroying our future. So I, I joined a grandpa grandparents' walk for climate justice. We we went to a Chase Bank, big with big columns. You know, looked like quite quite a monumental bank, and we sat in our rocking chairs, blocking the doors. We have good news and we have lots of bad news. I think it's important in order to get to be 84 and active like I am, it's important to be able to be honest with your feelings and to be able to express them. At times when I feel despair, I want to really feel the despair. I don't want to paper it over. I want to really feel, really go there, go to the despairing place.
and allow it to and to 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 release to release that's a really really important thing and the people that i know that are having the hardest time are the people who don't release the people who stuff 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 it inside stuff it inside stuff it inside and it weighs you down 